So here's this Hurricane 600. It's done for the year. Uh, I have a few more things to do to it. But it's basically done. So this is how it turned out. So the criminally insane owners who had it before, uh, the bike has survived. They couldn't kill it. Here's the stickers, the sticker combination. It really turned out good. I didn't think I'd be able to cover up the road rash. Usually you don't, but I was able to find some good stickers. And I lucked out, they turned out to be flexible stickers that would mold, mold to the bends of the body. Like that SIDI sticker. Usually you don't get away with bends like that, but these are thin stickers. They're a good, good design for a motorcycle. Uh, side panels are just sprayed with spray paint. They're still not done. I painted them three times now, and I've got runs every time, so I'll be painting them again today, and maybe I'll get lucky this time. Well, otherwise I'll keep trying to paint them as long as the weather holds up. They look or look all right. They're a little flatter, color black. The rest of the bike. So, all this was done with just bug and tire remover and a spray can getting all the, the stuff off the, the tar and the dead bugs and the bug droppings and whatever else to get a good finish you have to get everything off and then carnauba wax and I've been wiping the bike down it's very easy. You just touch it to get you get fingerprints on it. I just been wiping it down with uh, Armorall, a piece of paper towel. Oh, the wheels turned out pretty good. It's just a ton of scrubbing with a toothbrush and bug and tire remover. I like the silver color on the discs better than the black. <coughs> On the corroded bolts, I just put grease on them. They want five bucks a piece for each one of these bolts. I did get a new bolt. That one was only a dollar. Uh, I like the way the headers turned out. Still the original finish. That was just just sprayed the whole exhaust with WD-40 and took steel wool to it. And the motor cleaned up nice. This is WD-40 and steel wool. Here's the road rash it, it has. I'm not going to try to cover it up. I think it looks better just to leave it. I didn't notice the mirror had so much rash on it. This side just had minimal damage. Uh, like it fell on gravel. This back piece is a little rough. the handlebar area it really makes the bike uh, pleasing to ride when you have a clean handlebar area I put my favorite grips on these are pro grip gel grips or dual compound grips and there's it's kinda sticky and, and soft like soft rubber. 
and they help your hands if you're uh, have hands that fall asleep. I put these on my VFR. It had really thin grips. Uh, factory grips are real thin. I really don't like fat grips on a sport bike. These are slightly fatter, but these grips kick butt. So I put about 100 miles on it. I was pretty nervous about riding it with these tires. I rode it with 20 pounds of air in each tire because I didn't want to inflate them where that they, they'd blow up. Uh, so I rode it around. And I did put 30 pounds in it, and they held. So the bike is alright. It runs good, and these are kind of smaller bikes. It's kind of for the Japanese market. I don't know. But they're pretty small. So that's how she turned out. Okay, thanks a lot.